All right. So continue where we left off. Um, we are back. And we're about to get ready to do Condemned Minds. And first things first we need to do is we need to head to the Southern Islands, which is through Red Ridge. Inside of the jail area. This person is actually rather close compared to a lot of the other areas. Push that. Grab this quest. Now we're going to head to... Oh, that's weird. I just realized that. So, I was able to teleport here, but I never touched a teleporter. So they give us these teleports all the way up into the, the starter areas, I guess. That's interesting. Never knew they did that. Oh, I'm going to have to grab that quest because um, because that is part of the quest line I'm doing. That's the right one. No, that's the wrong one. Not this one. It's this one. That quested incorrectly. I think I just lost that quest. That's weird. What just happened there? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Oh yeah, we could turn in this quest. Since we'll be coming back and we'll be level 28. We'll, we can start off the video with a level up. Uh, we're going to go for weapon. Okay, so now, go talk to Dash. Up 28, so I can open my book. And I can get the rest of these. So this book is no longer needed, now that I have all my quests out of it. I, there is no other skill books you can carry around. You actually, actually have to go to that vendor now. Go to the skill book, skill tutorer. I think that's what it's called. Uh, a boss can spawn in this area, so also be careful of that. A world boss can spawn in this area. It is like a giant crystal lion that is in this area. Yep, there it is. <laughs> That's one of the world bosses. I will never be able to defeat that right now, as I am. Maybe if I was like level 40 with my... Nah, maybe if I was like level 50 with my gear, maybe. Throw almost the dash. I'm actually going to take all the quests here. Oh, okay, I thought he had another quest that was different from that. But that's the second quest for... It's the second quest for uh, Condemned Minds. Trying to make sure he's just not going to pop up out of nowhere and one-shot me. I mean, I don't have a bar of XP, but, you know, I don't want to go all the way back down there. Next is Oz, who's is in Black Swamp. Is there anything I want to set up inside of here? Uh, we seem to be pretty fine. 
Even though these are level 15. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I can open this now. And this should be the last one. Oh no, that's not the last one. Oh, this is the last one. I wish they would have like another card they give you. Just to motivate you to play through past that class change. I just feel like that would be better just because they have it in like all their other X Legend titles. But for some reason, Grandpa just stops at the class change. Alright, so now Black Swamp, Klein. Grab that. And go to Oz. Well, I really don't have to grab that since it's already activated. I have a quest for here? What quest? Excuse me? Oh! Oh! Huh? I didn't realize I would have to come back here. Okay, so good thing that I am doing all this. You jerks. You're gonna make me go to one place and come all the way back. That's are douches. Especially when you're trying to stay on like one route. One single route is just like the game's just like, nah, dude, hey, you wanna do this one? I got a, I got a quest for you to do over here. What about this one? It's like, hey, you looked into a new area. You want this one? <laughs> it's like, you jerks, leave me alone. I want none of it. Just want to stay on the route that I am on. Turn in that quest. And back to going to Oz. So they gave us two bars. Okay, that's not too bad. And now that I have both blades... Oh, yeah. I have both blades done. I just thought about that. So, these swords right here are pretty lackluster. But, they're good for substats. The issue with this one is that I hate that it has strength on it. But, better sword... And I can go ahead and put this in here. Because the new sword that I just put in there has double hit chance. So looking at the other swords here, this one had decent stats. This one had double hit as well. So if I was to put on both of these swords at the same time, I would have a 30% chance to double hit. I can do that, but accuracy is a struggle right now. So I'd rather just use this for the 25% chance of hitting. Okay, so with that, we have... Yeah, this is the art of mines that we need. This quest on our other hand is not something we take. That is for this area. Unless you're doing that area. Didn't take it. But now we head to Condemned Mines, which is fantastic. Oh, I can change out my bow as well. Uh, right now, you do not have to enhance any of your weapons. I would say into, into like it's a good time to enchant it. I would say into like level 50. When you get your level 50 yellow gear, that's the only time you want to actually like start enchanting your weapons and stuff. Here's the downfall of that. Um, good luck because that system is very aggressive and 
I guess I could explain it here. When I'm going to do it inside of a um, starter video. We get the plus nine. And try and go pl pass plus nine. You will lose that weapon. You have a chance of that weapon just com being completely wiped from the face of the earth. This is a new player experience. And the reason why gold farming is a thing for auction. Auction house plays a good role in that. And as long as we have wells. New, newer players will stay here. <laughs> because uh, yeah, a lot of things rely on the wells that we have in the game. Our wells are precious gems. As long as there's players, we can keep those wells. So I actually have some people to talk to, things to do. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, chill. Because like every game will tell you, or every person will tell you, games survive off of, you know, new players or you know, free-to-play players. All those free-to-play players go away. The wells won't exist. They won't even play the game. They won't touch it if it has a low population on it. Thankfully, we still have quite a bit of wells. The only thing is that most of the wells that we had really enjoyed the Spender tier events. I mean, we have one going on now, but the rewards are lackluster. And it's not really... They're not really viable for, like... Oh, yeah. Condemned Mines right here. Uh, hold up. Boom. Bonuses. This right here. This isn't viable for newer players because these are all in game stuff. This, well, these two things right here, that, that's perfectly fine. It's after the point where you get to this shit to where everything is in game stuff. Not only that, it's random on this. There's no point in any new player going into this stuff at all. No point in them touching it. So clearly that's aimed at the wells. Area games. Oh, whoops. Area games had it figured out way better. Not gonna lie to you. Their, their tier events were 10 times better. Okay, so here's the thing that you guys are going to start looking into. Um, your quest will now be separated into classes. So make sure you choose the class that you are on. If you're level 28 like me, look at your skills, go to your class, and it will tell you which one that you are on. If you're playing, if you're going for Assassin, it's assassin. If you're going for ranger, it's a ranger. Say if I was on priest, okay, it's cleric or sage. So mine is this one since ranger is on it. And remember that we're going to level up pretty fast. Not only that, this card just gave us some XP charms, which is going to help us level faster. Okay, so now we're inside of the next mine. Well, the next dungeon. Which is Condemned Mines. We have the same buff as the last dungeon. This one is still 35. Once 35, after 35, I think we change. It changes to something lower, if I remember correctly. We're gonna be picking up a lot of things in this dungeon. 
We can throw those away. Those items are useless. Oh yeah, we can throw this away too. Uh, I usually go through the bat way. Let's see how much XP we get for killing. Okay, we get a pretty, pretty decent chunk. I really don't want to touch any of the bosses, though. Which one is that? What just dropped? Crit damage? Eh. Greatest thing right now is that they are charging abilities instead of coming directly for me. my swords. Agility. Into match defense. The only reason that shows magic defense is because I'm not sure how much Actual normal attack skills into range. Well, actually, no, I'm using source too, so that actually would have been fine. But it's fine, we're gonna need magic defense anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a quest in here. So we just completed that one by killing bats, and now we have 20% movement speed. Jesus Christ, that's going to be great for me. I have 70% movement speed now. Not really. looking for our for our cape we're gonna try and avoid the boss I the immobilize actually went off strength. Up, oh, class change coming up. Okay, we got one more. One more level in class change. I don't know if we can make it in time to, before dungeon like actually resets. I know there's a timer before it resets. I 
Okay, so all of this is going to be trash now. So we can go this way and get that other quest turned in. I guess it queued up on a, another enemy. I didn't get much actually. Sad. But we're almost leveled. Uh, next route we gotta do is the skulls. Then we have to fight this dude. I don't think he should be much of an issue as long as I have potions. Dungeon Gear sells for quite a bit. Why is this in here? Just eating up room. This way or this way? I think it's this way. No, the miners are over here, I think. I think? Yeah, there you guys are. And then I have to use these stones they drop. Are you dick? I forgot you guys stun. I think there's a certain spot in the mines that I have. Yeah, I have to go to. For that quest. Ah, I'm still missing. That's so annoying. more do I need? I need two more.
my accuracy. It's all the way up here. And yeah, I'm still missing shots. I don't get it, man. Oh, I have a hundred and... an eighty. Move his speed. Jesus. Alright. It's almost time. I'd say Jesus, even with the even with the immobilize, I still miss, man. Alright, one more bar. Then we can go do our quest. It is time. Uh, that is for trial maze. We don't care about that. It is time. It is class changing time. Finally. Uh, I'm going to save my soul here just to teleport back with my uh, sprite song. I should have did that as I went into the dungeon anyway. But you know. Ah, why did I do that? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I mean, we're just walking back to jail anyway. Ranger! And we talked to Russell. Russell is. Yeah, okay, that, that is the Russell I'm thinking of inside of the planes. I'm kinda sad that none of my capes dropped down. I had to talk to a vendor. Oh yeah, the book. Quest book lady. Should I have one? There we go. Sell those, sell this, sell this. The greatest thing about potions is they do become more valuable later on. I'm gonna sell the gun. Or actually, nah, don't sell the gun. Sell the ammo if it then I need you to scavenge. I need to remember that scavenging is the thing I have to keep up. Put this in there, put that in there. That'll be for... That'll be for the reputation video. Well, the... Second starter guide. Now that is a dungeon. You need both a high level and a low level to do this. I think it's... I forget what level it has to be. But you need both a high level and low level for this. And it gives a crap ton of XP. People used to do that a lot. I don't think it's really necessary to do any more now that the quests have changed. But if you just want that little bit of oof, I guess you can go for it. <laughs> All right. Even if we don't make it back in time, we can still, you know, re-kill everything. Oh, it took us 30 minutes to get to level 30, so not too bad. 
All right, Russell. Coming to you, buddy. Give me whatever quest you're about to give me. I know it's probably in the plateau. It would just make sense if it's in the actual plateau. I never realized how weird the the bird's butt looks. <laughs> could tell it's attached on and is like a separate thing from it I, I hate that I noticed that now <laughs> oh no, I have to go to the Southern. Oh, then they want me to also do one in Plateau. Are oh, you dicks? I have to go all the way to the Plateau and... And the Southern. Okay, I'll do Plateau first since that only has like one in there. Okay, I got 50 TP stones. I like seeing those saved up. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're really not necessary, especially if you want to actually, like, learn a game. If you want to learn the game and actually, like, experience it, don't use TP stones. You'll be confused even more with TP stones. Like, TP stone does not help learning everything. But if there's a quest you actually cannot find, and there's a question mark here, and you're able to actually like teleport to it, then yeah, if you if you can't find it, then do that. But sometimes it'll tell you you can't teleport there. The target is teleport. You cannot auto teleport to this area. Because this is inside of a dungeon. Even if you're inside the dungeon, it won't let you teleport in there. So it's quite limited. Well, not fully limited because you can also teleport to any NPC you actually want to as well. Put in this name, you can teleport to that NPC. So that's, say I can go to a high level area, put in this NPC, or this sign, and I can just teleport there. I don't know what's wrong with them in this clusterfuck over here. Yeah, this... This is a level... This is that one of those level 15 quests that we've been skipping. Yeah, that level 15 quest is what this nonsense is for. They don't give you XP. Some of them can't be killed either without that quest. So not really worth doing at all, to be honest. I know there's one over there, but eh, we'll do. We'll get this one. Drop it? Okay. Now we got two more items to get. Gonna be a long journey. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. I could just grab all those quests, can't I? That's why I'm here. Those were repeat quests. Ah. Those guys actually drop repeat items, too. The only, like, Repeat quest items you'll see in Auction House are those um, fishman necklaces. Ah, there it is. Yeah, this this quest we've been skipping. 
is for that little clusterfuck over there. For, of apes. Uh, do you have plus? Okay, yeah, you have a normal quest I can grab. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. The only reason I wanted to, to grab these is just because I'm gonna walk away from them. Then... I'm going to come back to this area and have to walk all the way back to them. I think Roar Mall is next after Condemned. No, no, Deserted Temple is next after Condemned. I forgot about that dungeon. But on the bright side, dude, we're going to have so many new interesting skills coming up soon. Like I said, can't wait for level 40. I get my pet. And I actually want to see how much he's changed. Because apparently he takes reduced damage now. And deals more damage. Which is interesting. Ah, uh, let's see. We're going to... Southern. Stop trying to give me that. Yeah, they're all down here. Now on, I should have a notepad up for when I come up with like ideas of tutorials to do for the starter guides. Because as a person with ADHD, I probably won't remember which ones, like all the ones I said I was going to cover. <laughs> Where you at? You guys the one? Yep. Murder. Keep my stuff. Hand it over. Yoink. Okay, I guess I could stop by altar and tell you guys about it. A little bit. Uh because this is gonna be in another tutorial. Just in case nobody actually like, you know, watches this this video. Uh, Altars is a place where you can get rid of sub sprites. You can't get rid of your main guardian sprite. You can get rid of the sub ones that you put in there. The thing is, this also comes with a punishment and a good thing. If you get rid of them, you return them to the wild and they aren't like fully maxed out and they're like really low. You barely even got anything out of it. You will be punished for this, for getting rid of it. The reason I say you'll be punished for it is because it will start taking away from your reputation of a Sprite Messenger. Sprite Messenger fame will be heavily dipped into. And it sucks. Because you need this for yellow items such as yellow rings or yellow capes for certain classes. The only class that has yellow capes they can actually craft is um, Mech Master. So yeah, things to keep in mind there. If you're going to get rid of them, make sure you max them out. And good luck with that hell because it is actual hell. Uh, turning in 
reputation can also open you up to a whole bunch of new sprites. So if I actually wanted one of these, I can actually like get the reputation for these shark. Well, for these uh for this area, which is basically like um, sea lost powers. And I can show that by if the server chooses to come back online. Thank you. Where is it? Strengthen a contract. Nope, that's not it. Huh? Oh, can you not give lost powers here? Or is it you? Whoa, hold up a second. Oh, here it is. I want to unleash Lost Power. I thought I clicked that, but apparently I didn't. But yeah, you find these items, you can come in here, bring them, put in how many stacks you have, then just use them all. And it brings up the reputation. I wish the servers would calm the fuck down. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> but it gives you a reputation that will slowly crab. Can you move out the way? Murder. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. You can um, then start unlocking these. Which this item to here. These one, two, three, four, five items are archivable. And just so you know, any item that is archivable from the altars are plus 10 points. So these five items can go into your archive and they give you plus 10. So you'll get 50 points of archive out of this. So it's a great idea to, you know, max out those. Because it also benefits you from what this guy has as well from potions. Also. Like regen potions. At level 70 for mana and for other stuff then you have this shit which i don't know what any of this is yet i'll figure that out down the road just not too much of a concern right now because grand Fantasia needs a lot of tutorials they add in a lot of npcs that you just never look at or give the light of day to which need need to kind of be changed if you want people to do it need more information on those quests <sighs> but yeah things like that you know very iffy to do because you Gold is, gold is not easy to come by, or wasn't too easy to come by, still not easy to come by. A lot of things you gotta do to get some gold. <laughs> so people don't normally do those because they cost too much. I'm sure they probably give you like some amazing buff or some amazing items. It's just that you can't toy around with it too much and nobody has tutorials on them so it's kind of risky to even get those things because you wouldn't know what to do with them most of the time anyway so in two I can gain enough gold to you know kind of twiddle my thumbs with that one wouldn't recommend touching it accuracy beyond oh eh Eh. Oof. Um, it's between these or these. Because I won't always be, be. Yeah, this only hits for 10 meters. I mean, I have a lot of skills. I'm going to have a lot of skills that will do that, but this is probably the most work one to go. Uh, that is Sprite Island. Don't care about that.
Hopefully this gives me a, a combo. Nah, it probably won't give me a combo until like the last one. But I am now a Ranger. Ranger also gets a whole bunch of new stuff, cosmetics. Nice looking gun that probably won't shoot right. <laughs> I think I can get rid of this, right? Yeah, because I already have it in my archive. Um, let's see. What is, what is your gear look like? Okay, I like the green a little bit. What is the hat looking like? Ew, that fucking hat is awful. Holy crap! Um, Jesus Christ, dude, brother. I'd I'd rather go helmetless. Um, hold on. Boom. Boom. Pow. Bada bing. Pow. <laughs> yeah, I prefer that over that helmet. Like, ill. That that was disgusting to look at. <laughs> I really don't like a lot of bulky armors. That's also another reason why I've never really gotten to like um, Monster Hunter because I don't like bulky armor. It just looks very unsatisfying to run in. But uh, let's go get some of our skills here. So our quest. So our um, class quest would have took like, let's say. 20 minutes all together. Right now it was like 14 or 15 minutes to get our class quest done. So not too bad. Okay, we have invisibility. We have... Oh, we have those now. Um, it's going to be a lot of skills we get to look through. So we can't get called a cloud until level 40. And then we have this for the spear form. Okay, so let's start getting this set up. So we can place an immobilizing trap now. Okay, so let's go ahead and reference this to the frost traps. For uh, WoW, I've learned a lot about WoW. I'm just not willing to play it. It's just not my type of game. And then we have Reflex, Reduce Damage, and Immune to Stun Effects. 15, well, 50%, well, 50 points into Evasion. Not all that good, to be honest. Unless we have abilities that, you know, kind of talk about themselves. I think... I think Ranger's the only class that doesn't have a permanent invisibility. Doesn't work during combat. Makes sense. All right, these stances are permanent, by the way. They aren't like cooldown things. You have to be in a stance to use certain skills. So now we have meteor attack, okay. Oh. Oh, it changes, um... That's interesting. Oh, it changes what you can use. Oh, so you can have a separate layout for, like, each skill. I have this as all my, uh, pistol stuff. And I can have the other one as... Oh, that's nice. 
So either way it goes, you want to be in one of them. So this one gives movement speed, musket damage, uh, damage penetration, crit damage for 5 seconds. Whenever a uh, spear, spear activates. Ah, when this activates, I get that. This one's also the same way. This one gives 15% move speed. More damage on the bow. To attack. Okay, so I got, guess my attack range got increased. That's nice, I guess. lot of abilities to like use and figure out so I'll never leave these forms so I'm gonna put on re-put on all my stuff So it's all very situational. Because you could just swap in the middle of battle as well. But that's a lot of swapping. You, you, you have to click this, then you'll have to also select one of your weapons you put in there. But I think this is my first ever AoE, right? Okay, so now we can go complete the dungeon. Oh, we can just use song there. Glad I remember that. Alright. Let's go uh, complete this. So this video might be a little bit longer. Thanks for doing all that. Uh, we can also accept uh, wait don't I have an order in here or did I get rid of it by mistake my dumb ass oh there it is <laughs> I was about to say my dumb ass so once I'm done I'm going to be choosing this reward right here even though everything in it is kind of useless except for the cape I just need one more. So hopefully these bosses drop one. Uh, let's see. Oh, snap. The dungeon actually stayed cleared. Great. Great, 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 great. So we can continue where we left off. I'll try and subtract some time off of the timestamps. Oh, the last video. I don't think I put in timestamps, did I? Like a dummy. Wait, is that a charge ability? Oh, I can use this anywhere. That's great. Doesn't matter if I'm up close or not, I can use it. Wait, did I get the last one? <gasps> I did! 
thank god I can make my armor now. Oh, it gave me even more than I needed. Oh yeah, I could... Speaking of armor, I could put this on now. My hit chance should go up as well. That's gonna be fantastic. Okay, we're just missing the armor. While we're doing that, hey, can you scavenge all this? Because we can't use them anymore. Alright, the full set is there. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and turn it in now. The only downfall of coming back in here is that I lose my... Uh, Time quests buffs. Which is fine. Did the surface just die again? Thank you. Uh, I guess we'll do the rest on these as well. No longer useful. You can't re you can't sell these once you uh use them. That's why I'm getting rid of them. Oh yeah, I can put these inside of here now. I'm almost 30, man. Great. Oh, apparently I have one for female. No, for Mel. I did not know that. That's how I've never created this class. I shouldn't. Huh. Interesting. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going this way. And I need to keep these sprites going. I could sell these too. Funny enough, I could just put those in auction and somebody will probably get it if they uh, need it. Probably sell it for pretty cheap, to be honest, because they don't really cost too much to craft. I can also sell these too, since I don't need them. Um, hats next. God damn it. You also gotta think about it. Crafting is a lot faster than training. So if you're willing to farm, it goes by a lot faster. Destruction dagger. <laughs> Axe dagger. Hell yeah. Somebody's bright idea was just, you know what? I'm gonna make it. <laughs> 
just like, what's this on the market? It's it's what I call an axe dagger. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> type of blasphemy did you just create? So it doesn't take too much for me to craft, except for just farming the stuff. I might just sell it for three gold, if anything. Wait, we wanted to use my cape. Uh, that is for cleric. This is for sages. Dang it. Sucks to suck. I definitely got to hit the auction house after this dungeon. Uh, there's certain things I can throw out here. Like this. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Uh, I guess we can throw that back in for now. We don't need this crap. Technically, don't need that because that's not for us. To be honest, it's on a very low cooldown, too. It's a good initiating skill. I like it. Like, that's a lot of damage. Blessing? Where the hell did I get that from? Oh, Blessing came from that. Oh, that's a single target skill. I thought it was going to be a multi-target. I'm kind of sad. I feel lied to. Wait, did that just destroy how many arrows I have? I didn't look at that. Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, oh, oh, oh boy, I was about to say, my arrows, please! <laughs> Thankfully, I made extras. Oh my god, you're the first one that fell in an actual event all day. You jerk. You traitor. It feels great to have an archer ability that actually works up close. Oh my god. Wait, are these not the same? Okay, no, they can't be placed in there like that. I have to do this and that. Then put them in there. Please let that be a cape. But. I mean, it's for me. Like, this is the thing about Dungeon Gear. Dungeon Gear has more stats and defense. But it's the unique set ability that sets out the gear. For, like, sprite gear. Uh, agility. Attack. Lack of class? What? Ooh, this can't be used by me anymore. Wait, am I technically using it right now? Hold up. I want to see if I kind of have a broken system right now. I do. I can... 
I can use them for now until I take it off. Oh, that's gonna suck when I have to take that off. Wait, did I hit him too? No, it didn't. It just got his aggro attention. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, it got rid of him. Over here. Oh, he sucked me in. I forgot he has that. Bastard. There we go. Ew, this out of my inventory. Oh yeah, I need the miner uh for the next area. Throw that out, throw this out, this in there. Uh, we can start putting in other gears into there as well. How do the traps look? I'd say any cape for me would actually do. Fuck. Now he's gonna call off my skills. He should run into that trap. Okay. And my character was like, you know what? He's in a trap. Let's go face fight him. Yeah, that's 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 a smart idea. Thanks. Thanks, game. You know. Uh picked up extra keys just in case. Uh, we can go ahead and turn these in. Yep. Start getting some of those uh, scavengings done too. You can also sell dungeon gear too. It will actually sell, especially on those who've been power leveling or new players who don't want to get into the sprite crafting system, which is fair, to be honest, very fair. You don't want to get into it. I just want you to know it's going to be a lot harder, though.
Alright, last... well... Last item boss of this. Right away, can I think this is for my sprite, right? I think that unlocks combat sprite, if I remember correctly. seconds on Mongoose Reflex, it's kind of meh. I wish this was a passive, if anything. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish that was a passive. What happens to it later on? Does the time get increased? No. The time doesn't get in increased at all. But the effects of it get better. Cooldown doesn't go down at all. Mana consumption of it changes when it evolves. That's annoying. Alright, Ranger actually has some cool skills, not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to preparing for the next dungeon now. Because my gear is going to be annoying. Annoying to craft. I don't really know much about the next orange set. I still find it annoying that you can't archive orange, orange gear. I guess it would make, I guess if you did like remake another class, let's say if you played the ranger, then you decided to play through assassin, the sprite would be obsolete to touch, but it would, that would make more sense though. Cause I would want to fully craft everything out of the sprites to where I wouldn't have to touch the motherfuckers anymore afterwards. <laughs> I forget, all of you guys got stuns. I'm happy that one missed. Uh, isn't a minecart back here, actually? For this... For these little, uh... Mission? I think it's right here, right? Yeah, it's right here. One... Two... Three... Four... Five. What does it give? It gives... 5% damage and 25% treasure. It gives 25% treasure and deals extra dark damage. Oh. Okay. Guess that's decent. Pretty decent, pretty decent. I feel like this change makes this class more more tactical 
anything. Stuck. Uh, that's a katana, isn't it? Yeah, that's a katana. Can't use that. Oh, apparently I did achieve it in here. Hello? Okay. Why can't I target him? Yeah, Griffith is kind of weird when it comes to like trying to target an enemy. Well, trying to like click on an enemy, that is. I'm getting a lot of cleric here. It's kind of annoying though. Uh, engineer sword. Oh, I normally hate this this boss, just because he has um uh, another holy cape, you bastards. Just because he has misfortune on him, and he's pretty tanky. Shut that spell up. Yep, there's a stun. There's a misfortune as well. Books now. And we head to the final boss. do sell for a decent price to be honest probably like well for around my level it's probably like three or five gold i gotta think of that from like a new player perspective at least the blue ones too the green ones not so much unless somebody's like really desperate for a cape which is not really a thing because the blue ones have way better stats And actually have like little passives on them. Nice. Okay. Time to do this guy. Uh, one thing you can do is if it's a boss, you can see their skills. So he gives exhaust for eight seconds. Has a 20% chance of using this skill. Annoying because it 
cancels all my physical attacks. So I won't be able to attack for a while. Uh, when he's at 30% HP, he has a 20% of using miss, which gives me paralyze and slows down all my attack speed, movement speed. Uh, King Seal, at 10%, he has a 20% chance to seal all skills, so that's another thing to basically screw over my damage. And he has a 12% chance of using this, which gives him a buff for more crit damage and higher crit chance. This will delete me if I let him touch me, to be honest. So strafing is going to be a lot needed here. This doesn't work. I just wanted to put this. I just wanted to use it once. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. There's a uh, paralyze. Up, oh, he has a buff on. Thankfully, he's missing. Put this on. Like, okay, I was about to say, I'm not going to take the chance of him just getting that buff and trying to one-shot me. Crit damage is scary in this game. Like, very, very scary. Something you don't want to, like, just joke around about, unfortunately. That, that will do a lot of damage and just send you, send you to the Shadow Realm. So thanks for playing type of situation. Alright, so this one, I don't remember what this is. Oh wait, do I have to actually like chain this? So I think I would have to do Kozlo again. Well not Kozlo, uh, Parry Dungeon, but eh. It's not really needed, it's just a thing that exists that you can do. What's the most important thing is that we get this stuff out of here. I don't really care about this anymore. I say, just, just so you know, whenever you complete the dungeon and do that mission, then they'll give you a, a then they'll give you an option between the same thing you got inside a parry dungeon for helping Kudo. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I get I got some green boots. You normally get up to blue or green. I really wish like I said, I really wish there were higher tier dungeon items, dude. Just the farm and feel unique. Alright, let's go check our our skills. Because we're in level 32 now. We should be able to get something else, right? Oh no, our next skills are at level 34. That sucks. Again, we can't get these skills just because they're reincarnation only. I still want to know. Should I just reincarnate at level 66? Or should I just reincarnate at level 100? I feel like level 66. Oh no, I do have new skills I can get. 
Oh, is this a jump back skill? Yes, that's a jump back skill I was thinking of. Uh, or conceal. This is jump back skill I was hoping for. Uh, this is a passive. So our next skills are at 34. Uh, let me go to my... So it took like at least an hour or 40 minutes for for that dungeon for condemned mines. I'll try and tally up all of that. Let's, let's get rid of that. Uh, I guess we'll touch Auction House and see what's going on there. But uh, we can actually turn these quests back on. Then we have to head to Sprite Forest for this quest. To, for our Sprite to learn um, combat. Now, I think next video, I'll try and make another starter guide. This dungeon gear, I can just sell that out. Uh, okay, the servers are dying. Good to know. Uh, okay, thanks. Thanks for that. You know, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Might sell it, might not. Cape is blue. I'm just gonna sell it for three. Uh, wand. Just gonna sell it for three. And the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna just scavenge. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video where we tackle uh, the plateau, which will be here. throw a lot of items in there and we'll talk about those later we'll also talk about the whole air thing it's from this quest i believe so if you ever throw air powder don't get rid of it it's needed it's probably too late to say that but that'd be my fault if if so if you're following this series anywho until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. That was a good stretch.
There's a reason why we fight to stay alive.